Just fire! Just fire! Jesus! Disturbing videos filmed on police dash cam. Number 5. On December 10, 2010, a police cruiser captured a dash cam video, which shows the cruiser being rammed by two wanted suspects. The video was captured at a truck stop on 76th Street in southern Kent County. Two Kent County Sheriff's deputies approached the vehicle after realizing it was stolen and identifying two people inside who were wanted for impostering gas station managers and tricking station clerks into giving them cash for the registers. In the dash cam video, one deputy can be seen breaking a car window after the suspects refuse to comply. Johnson drives forward and rams a police cruiser blocking his path before backing over a steep embankment to escape, with the tires squealing all the time. The vehicle in the video is a Chevy Impala, and later it was found abandoned in a field near Hannah Lake Avenue and Allegan County Line. The police chased the suspects, but it is not clear if they were able to find them. Number 4. On November 11, 2018, a police cruiser captured a dash cam video which shows a shootout between an armed person and a Washington County Sheriff. At first, the sheriff chased the suspect on a narrow road. After a while, the suspect stopped at the side of the road and so did the sheriff. Just then, something unexpected happened and the sheriff did not even anticipate. The suspect opened the door and fired a shot at the officer. The suspect kept firing shots at the officer before fleeing the scene. However, just after reaching a turn, the suspect stopped the vehicle and dropped off his girlfriend who later surrendered. Just fire! Just fire! Jesus! Just fire, County! I got a white female just got out. She's walking southbound off the steel. Up. Who's that with you? Why'd he pull a gun on me? What the hell is he doing? Get on your knees. 
All right, put that down. Do you have any weapons on you? Despite the exchange of gunfire between the suspect and law enforcement officer at close range, no one was hit. Fortunately, the suspect was captured later in Springdale. Thank God for that. Number three. On November 15, 2018, a police vehicle captured a dash cam video that shows a shootout of a 48-year-old wanted felon after a high-speed pursuit inside the evacuation zone of the campfire in Northern California. Reportedly, seven deputies started the pursuit after receiving a call of a suspicious person near a hardware store in Yankee Hill. When the officers backed away, the suspect rushed out of the hardware store's parking lot and drove off down Highway 70 after hitting a police vehicle on the way. Eventually, the police were able to stop the car by laying down a spike strip. When the man was not complying, the officers released the canine on the man, who then advanced on officers, causing them to open fire. You won't believe this. The man was unarmed when shot, but he was found with multiple weapons during his previous arrest, so the deputies were concerned. No deputies were injured in the incident, but the canine was killed when deputies opened fire on the suspect. The man was wanted for parole violations and was a suspect in an area double homicide about two years prior. It's unclear how many rounds were fired, but the suspect was struck multiple times. Keep watching to see the bravery of Officer Chris Womack in video number one. Number two. In November 2017, a police officer named Kyle Rixvalski's patrol vehicle captured a vehicle of him being nearly hit by a passing car on the dash cam. It was late at night and he was making a routine traffic stop on a poorly lit road in New Jersey. In the footage, he can be seen starting to walk back towards his car to return the license. But then he spots something that could have almost taken his life. But he saved himself by demonstrating some impressive reflexes. The officer skillfully rolls away from a moving car just in time to avoid being run over. Hey, Dave, you just put a call in for removal. It is really surprising how the officer was able to react so quickly with a belt full of heavy equipment. But maybe his adrenaline rushed in before he could realize what was happening. Hats off to this officer for being able to get out of there alive. However, the car clipped the police cruiser's door and left it heavily damaged. Now, let's look at video number one. This footage is quite disturbing. Number one. On February 11, 2017, a police patrol vehicle captured a video 
of neutralizing a dangerous threat on the dash cam. Around 9 p.m., officers responded to the Jack in the Box located at 1703 South Beckley Road in Glen Heights, Texas. When the officers arrived at the place, they saw a Ford truck caught in a fire dangerously close to the restaurant. Officer Chris Womack knew exactly what to do. In the footage, he could be seen hitting the car in the parking lot with the help of his patrol vehicle away from the building. The car was in danger of catching the nearby restaurant on fire, so he pulled up and took care of the situation fast and efficiently. The brave officer put his life in great danger to handle the situation. The vehicle could have exploded at any time with enough force to cover him in flames and piping hot debris. Thanks to him, no one was injured. Can't get enough of these videos? Check out the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.